housing. What we're trying to do in the School of Business is to, is to try to create personality for the subject. We talked about not just, not just subject matter, but also talked about career paths. And we're very fortunate today to uh, have uh, one of the uh, one of the about the most recognizable bank in the state, uh, and I say that specifically, that's their capacity for investment bank. And I think you know this gal here, uh, Sarah Chappelle, who was one of their one of their recruits last year when they began a. Good afternoon, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Good afternoon. Excellent. Well, I just want to say thank you very much for having us here. Um, as Bob said, you know, my name is Derek Ruskowitz. I am with Investors Bank. Um, I will give you all the information about who we are as an organization and give you a little bit of insight into our culture as a company um, and really the reason that I'm out here today too is to, to build a very strategic partnership with Felicia and to offer you uh, an insight into the opportunities that we have for career development with the investors. I do have one of my colleagues here internally within the organization that you guys are uh, pretty familiar with, Sarah Shevel. And you know, as an alum of Felicia, I want her to share a little bit of her story uh, with you guys as well, and tell a little bit about how her transition uh, from college into our organization. Uh, so I just gra graduated from, Le uh, from Felicia in May with my degree in healthcare administration. Recently, about two weeks ago, I just finished my last MBA class. Um, I found out with investors through a number of professors here, so that I should apply for the CMA program, which is the Commercial Management Associate program that they were providing. But I didn't know if I would actually get the job due to me having no experience in banking. I didn't think I was going to get there's probably better applicants in this area that would be better for it. But I got the job. Um, Investors is a great company. They really want you to succeed and be the best person that you can be. Um, they're very invested in who you are. They provide classes to help you be a better person and a better person for the company. The investors community is very welcoming and makes you feel part of the community. The first day of uh, orientation, of three orientation, they made us stand on a chair and yell each other's names with like a fist pump. So that was fun at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, we also had to go to a food kitchen um, and help others. So that was cool to see because you don't want to see, you hear about companies doing it, but you don't actually see companies helping out the community. It was actually a very easy transition from Felician to investors due to how welcome they were. You felt actually part of the family like you do here at Felician. You know, as an organization, we have grown and been very successful over the last seven, seven to ten years, I would say. Um, our mission and vision really is to be the best community bank that we can be in the, you know, the entire United States. Um, with that comes a lot of challenges. You know, are we bringing the right people on board? And are we giving back to the communities that we live in, we work within it, and that we actually support? Uh, one of the biggest things for us is living and breathing our core value system. So here's a little bit about our president and CEO, uh, who was a former partner at KPMG that made a transition about 10 years ago into the banking industry uh, with a very limited experience in banking. He brought on an understanding of creating and actually building out a culture uh, within the organization. And the first foundation of that was our core value system, which we call our core C's. And for us, I think this is important just in life, not even just in the business world, but actually being able to cooperate with those that you actually work with. And what that actually means for us is being able to ensure that when we're teaming up with our, our colleagues internally, that we're never letting our team members fail. So if that means bringing somebody that's brand new to the uh, industry into our organization, we give them as much support and as much training as needed to be successful. Because if somebody like Sarah fails, then that's a failure on myself for bringing her into the organization. That's a failure on our training department, that's a failure on Kevin Cummings as a part of So it is instilled in us that cooperation is vital to our success. We also see character. The character for us at Investors Bank all links back to leadership. And we do expect that any individual that joins our organization acts like a leader acts like a leader in any of the interactions they have across the board. So whether that's with our clients internally or externally, it's being able to set the tone and set the example in every interaction. Um, a little bit about our community initiatives and community service. We are an organization, I'm going to get a little bit more detail uh, into our community involvement, but I asked the question to you guys, how involved are you here at Felician University? And is it an expectation 
that you out, go out and support the community. So I'll ask you yourself. Is it an expectation that you're supposed to support the community? Okay. How how are you involved personally, you know, here in school or at Well, I'm a part of a club here and then I play soccer, so I help out like, with the soccer team. Excellent. What about yourself? Um, I'm in the Young Entrepreneurs Club here in the county major, so I feel like this is very nice. Yourself, sir? Um, I'm looking forward to the school and um, the profession itself. So, so you're in a unique mm -hmm. spot right here. Good. Right? <laughs> it's only like a few weeks, a few months in. Yeah. Um, so, what's your experience been like? Coming to you know a school that has a high expectation of being that to the community. It's it's great. I mean, you get emails all the time from the college or the government like, that we have. So you know, we have to look forward to it. You know, Excellent. So I, I'm sure if I went around the room and I asked almost every single person, everybody has some form of experience giving back. The question I want to ask you though is, what should you get back in return from doing these types of things? So obviously, these organizations. These individuals are getting something in return, whether it's being at a soup kitchen or food pantry or helping out within the community you work in. What are you getting out of the experience? That's the biggest thing that we ask from ourselves at Investors. It's an expectation of our employees at least four times a year minimum that we are out in the community giving back, hands on, donating our time, donating our evidence. Um, it is the culture that we have tried to create where that at least on the minimum side from our end, we want people to be out building relationships with the community. So I think we've talked about it a few times, what business is like in terms of being out in the real world. And I think a lot of people will focus in on certain aspects of going out there and trying to drive the business. But it all comes back to, to being uh, something that's very high levels of customer service and something that builds relationships internally and externally. And this is one of the reasons why we do as much community service as we do, and how we try to create more relationships. I think the most important thing is really why we're here today. What are the employment opportunities to those of you that are in the room today? So it could be anything from what I really want to talk about our summer internship program, or entry level roles. So this is the first year that we are actually doing a formal internship program at Investor Event. And that's kind of shocking to somebody like myself who's been there for so long, and has seen the growth to think, well, we probably just have established. Um, we don't, uh, we haven't had anything uh, in the past that has really aligned us for future talent. Um, one of the things that we're looking at is as we grow our talent internally is how do you bring new talent in that will be the future of the organization? And what I'm here today to talk about is a 10 week internship program that we're actually offering starting in the summer. Uh, it is aligned to different areas within the organization. Um, so just like probably other internships that you've heard about or you've spoken to uh, your career development centers about, it is an opportunity for you to take what you've learned with an impassioned environment and to put it into practical use in a real world environment. And I usually tell anybody that's going into an internship, it's an opportunity for you to also see what you like and you don't like professionally. For those of you that don't know anything about the banking industry, it might give you some insight into something that you may end up loving, like myself. I've also seen people that study banking and finance and have left an internship and told me, I will never do this ever again in my life. So it's a great opportunity to learn. Um, some of the areas that we're aligned to over 10 weeks are going to be things like our human resources department. So learning a little bit about what we as a human resources department do, uh, whether that's just payroll or benefits, the things like I do, like recruiting, uh, it will be parts of our lending groups. Um, so learning a little bit that Sarah's learned over the last uh, about four months now? That's true. Yeah. So over the last four months, uh, really learning about how we build relationships with our commercial clients and small business clients, and how you can take a degree in finance and really utilize those analytical skills in this world. First of all, Sarah, thank you for coming back. Thank you. Congratulations. Really great to have you back. It's successful uh, on this. I've got, to, I've got to ask you a question. You know, when I first came here, the whole idea was to, was to incorporate the corporate world with the academic world. And what we're trying to do is uh, show sort of a path of what you're studying to do the uh, professional uh, advice. Can I ask you how you felt the, 
you know, with transition life, from college life to the professional life, did you ever think that you were going to be a banker when you were an undergraduate uh, athlete? Um, I actually didn't think I was going to go into banking. My dream was to be a CEO of a hospital or a little nursing home, but I'm very happy with where I am. Um, I guess I needed to be very open-minded to be in the banking industry. Um, now, you really have a health administration background. Yes. So, uh, tell us how that translates into what you're doing with, uh, with the bank. So, with investors, we actually do healthcare lending. So, we deal with actual hospitals or rehabs or um, pediatrics, like normal clinics, and we give out loans to them. So, it's good to know when they're building, have a construction for a medical building, it's good to know what regulations they have to hit. Or if they're in regulation, to be able to know if they're in like a good enough loan, or if they're falling. That is good. What were some of the things we learned at Felicia that you might pass on to the students that, that they're still doing? Some of the do's and don'ts of, of transitioning from college life to the professional life. Um, LinkedIn is a very important thing, great for networking. Um, I guess just take every advantage that you can. That's how I got here. I have good relationships with my professors. They really reached out to me um, about investors, and that's how I actually got with banking. Is by being a good student, I was able to get a good job in the end through relationships. So I remember a question for you when the uh, company came up to to have the opportunity to do that interview with the investment bank. Can you tell us a little bit about how the interaction worked with the School of Business and the Career Development Center? Mm -hmm. So I was actually told by a couple of professors in the School of Business about the um, Investors Bank um, opportunity. Um, I took my resume to Career Services and I looked over it and helped me out and it really explained more about the opportunity and this is what I really wanted because it was healthcare administration. So we went through the whole entire process and they really helped me out figure out that that's what I wanted to do. So the whole idea of like, we're sure how the opportunity related to what you're yes. studying, but the fact of the matter is the communication that happened in the School of Business, as well as the uh, well, the refinement, the, uh, the refinement of some of the uh, things that would be uh, needed for the entity process that the career development set really worked with that. They made me feel really confident and comfortable actually going into the interviews. Um, at first, I was kind of nervous. It was probably like the second or third interview, so it was nervous for me. I didn't know what to expect. And Felicia, the business, and the career services can feel really comfortable. What were some of the questions that they asked you? Um, what community services I'm involved in? Have I ever not been involved? Um, like, got along with someone in a teamwork environment? How do I, like, if I did a project and it failed, how do I try to make it successful the next time about myself? So, what's all about creating about all the things you've done? Yes. Director, you back to talk to us and we look forward to have you back anymore. Thanks, Mike.